Hey Mark, what can you tell me about Introduce Local Replace All? So Introduce Local Replace All will introduce a new local variable for a selected expression that occurs multiple times in uh, in that expression or, or more than one more than one time in the block of code that you're in. Okay. So here, for example, I've got uh, I'm I'm basically taking a look at the difference between point one's x coordinate and point two's x coordinate. I just select that expression, hit the code rush key, and choose introduce local replace all. Here you can see in the preview hint that uh, Codrus has found two instances of this expression. And okay, uh, yeah. it's suggesting calling it delta x. I'm just going to hit enter. And I, I'm like, I like the name. I'm okay with it. Notice it also uh, was smart enough to know that it didn't need those extra parens around the, that expression. Sure, yeah. Right? If, if I were to inline this as a temp, we'd get those parens back because we need them. But, uh, but then if I go back and do introduce local replace all, they go away again. So that's kind of nice. Again, you can see that over here. I just select that expression, choose introduce local replace all. And now you can see what's happening here, right? It's simplifying the code, making it easier to read. Here's yeah, another, very much nice, yeah, here's another example of it down here um, where I've got this code and you can see here, um, you, you can also kind of, uh, you know, this is kind of a little bit of a mind bender, but you know, what we normally think of, what I normally think of expressions, normally I'm thinking of operations like adding and subtracting. I've got an operator in there somewhere. I don't always think of what I have selected here as an expression, but it is. And so you can see I've got data set tables uh, indexed by zero of rows in, in the for loop. I'm referencing the count property there. And down here I'm, I'm referencing the index. I'm indexing it, right? Sure, so yeah. I just select that. I can choose introduce local replace all. If I hold down the control key there, you can see everything that it's found and it's going to get rid of. And we'll just call this rows, right? And then I can do the same thing again down here. I can grab rows of index of I of item in array and grab that, do an introduce local of this. Notice what it's going to do here. It's going to take both these out, introduce a new local, and it's going to have to add braces for me because right now I'm just on a single line and that's a child statement of the for loop. I mean, yeah, of the for loop. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just call it items and there's the braces. And now, if you recall, when we started, we had some pretty complex code that was way out here. It was hard to, to read. And now we've got something that runs a little bit faster and it is easier to read. Yeah, that's very good. I mean, I, your point about running faster is particularly good, actually, because you've taken the expression that indexed into the tables object there, and you've removed it from the for loop. So for however many times that was going to happen, that's only happening once now. Right. So you're definitely going to get a performance benefit out of that. Yes, and it's it, going to be simpler to read at the same time. Usually these performance benefits are not noticeable, but, you know, for, for, from my perspective, if I can make it more efficient, you know, and I know I can do it, I'll do it right there in the code. So, yes, sure. I'm a big fan of this. Good stuff.